Hello, hello, Patty here. I am your voice and face behind PJ Stalin. Okay, guys, so it is Monday and it's around noon, and I am just going to do um, a really light application. And I want to show you guys what that's like for me. I'm not going to do a main highlight color as my base today. I'm actually going to use bronzer as my base. I'm going to use two different shades of bronzer. I am going to use tan lines all over to kind of even out uh, my complexion. And then I'm gonna use Bella as my actual bronzer today. So this is a great trick for, um, you know, if you just want to kind of add a little bit of um, depth, but you don't wanna get carried away. I like to do this when I don't, um, well, actually, when my skin's in fairly decent shape, this works out really well for me when I don't have to, you know, cover up a lot of imperfections because you guys, any of you that have been following me for a while, you know that I struggle with breakouts and all that kind of stuff. But this is a great look for when you want to add, um, like you want to look like you're a little bit sun-kissed, but, you know, you're not over the top. So I like this technique. It, look, it makes you look kind of fresh. It's really easy and you're good to go. So I'm gonna start with tan lines, which is our bronzer. I'm gonna use our blush bronzer brush, and I'm just gonna sweep in big swirly motions. So remember, this is my base. So I'm just going to start um, applying tan lines all over. And what's really nice about our bronzers is they're, they're so sheer that they go on really, really light. And um, I find them really, really super easy to um, work with and use. And because tan lines, um, you know, tan lines isn't super, super dark, it gives you that nice glow and helps to even out my complexion, which I love. So it feels really light. And remember that I am not using um, a base today. So I'm not using my main highlight color on my face today. Strictly bronzer as my base. So I'm just gonna go in with the, the smaller end of my blush bronzer for just a little bit more coverage. I always have to do the center of my neck because that is a light area on me. And I do find on, for me, it's exceptionally light, but I do find for a lot of women that that is an area that is a lot lighter than the rest of um, their face and especially their chest, right? So it's an area that we need to like concentrate on, on tying everything in together. And bronzer works great for that. Okay, so there you go. I have done bronzer as my base. Now I'm gonna go in with Bella bronzer, which is my go-to bronzer that I use with my makeup all the time. I'm just going to go in with the small end of my bronzer brush, okay? And I'm basically just picking up bronzer on one side of my brush. I'm not going straight in, I'm using the side of my brush and I'm going to apply my bronzer kind of like where I would contour, okay? Really just that simple. And bronzer's a little bit easier to use because the consistency of bronzer's a little bit um, lighter, like not as, not as thick as contour. Contour is meant to be um, uh, thicker in order to give you the dimension and to have the staying power as well to cut into those areas. But hey, you can use your bronzer as your contour as well, and it, that works lovely. Okay, it's a much softer look. And that's the thing, ladies, for any of you that are actually using Saint on a regular basis, um, there's so much playroom. Like get in there and experience, like experiment with your colors and use them in different areas. So this is uh, Bella Bronzer. I'm gonna just use a little bit more. Um, and I applied that um, generally kind of in the areas that I would normally kind of contour. I always like to do my nose. Definitely bronzer on my nose, either side. Kind of keeping that center area kind of light um, and a little bit on the chin. Okay, so that is just using bronzer as my base. I'm gonna go in with Lolly, which is our uh, lip and cheek color of the month. It's amazing, I love Lolly. Lolly was a color that they discontinued but then they just brought it back this month as the color of the month, and I'm so happy about that because I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go in with my little um, blend brush. 
And I'm just gonna pick up Lolly a little bit on the end of my brush, okay? And Lolly is um, an easy color to wear. It's a cooler uh, pinker tone. It's got a little bit of blue in it, but I really, really like it. Makes you look nice and healthy. You guys know I'm a blush girl. That's how I roll. And blush is so, so trending this season. Oh my gosh. I did up a little blush video too on placement of blush because um, this season for blush, we're applying blush in so many, on so, like there's so many different techniques. The three that are really, really popular is the one that I usually go over with most of you women, um, high cheekbones and back. We're also doing the C blush, which is right up along the forehead, and we're doing the W technique. So watch for that video. I'll be posting that probably this week sometime. Okay, so there you go. I've got my lolly on. I'm good to go. Now I just have a few little blemishes. So I'm just going to go in and hit those just ever so gently with my finger, and I picked up a little bit of June, and I just find that if I just dab it ever so slightly, um... It just gives me the coverage I want. And then I just like kind of tap it out with my finger. Really, really easy. I always have a little bit of redness around my nose. So I'll just take the excess and go around that area a little bit. Okay, that is good. And then the last piece of the puzzle is brightener. And of course, you can't go without brightener. That is the key element here. Hello there, Morgan. Hello, Miss Jane. How's everybody doing? Good, good. Okay, I am going to pick up the small end of my uh, blend brush. I'm going to go into, I guess I'm using Versalis or, yeah, Versalis, I guess. This has got a pinky undertone to it. And what's really amazing about that, um, pink around the eyes can really open things up. And I, when I say pink, I don't want you guys to think, oh my God, pink, pink. But the undertone um, of it is pink. So... Just gonna brighten my lids a little bit. Gonna brighten between my, my brows. Nothing huge here, I'm not getting crazy. Gonna brighten down the center of my nose, right? Just like so. I'll just throw a little bit of brightener right underneath those cheeks, just to kind of punch up and lift that cheekbone up a little bit. This is the beautiful thing about this makeup. Honestly, I love it. Once you know what starts to work for you and what you're, where you want this stuff, it's simply just about placing it in the right areas and then, um, you know, blending it through. You don't have to like do a full application. It's, you know, not always, you know, necessary. So to just break it down for you guys again, I did tan lines bronzer um, all over my face as my base color today, okay? Then I took my Bella bronzer and I used that as my contour, so to speak. Um, so this is just for a lighter, kind of fresher, more bronzy, sun-kissed look. Um, so I did Bella bronzer kind of in all the areas I would contour. I did pick up a little bit of brightener um, and I'm gonna, I just brightened, you know, the key areas between my eyes, uh, my eyelids, um, if I wanted to, I could just fade out these laugh lines a little bit, but I don't want to go crazy here because I still want to look like kind of like, you know, soft. I'm keeping it soft. Okay. Then I, um, went in with a little bit of Lolly, which is our color of the month for, um, lip and cheek. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of Lolly on my finger and I'll use it as a gloss. So pretty. And you guys can see that little bit of blue undertone it has to it. It's so nice. Great as a, a, a layering color as well. So sometimes I'll use Lolly over top of other colors or especially over top of lip type stuff. You know, like if I'm going in and I'm doing something deeper on my lips, I might throw some lolly just in the centers of my lips just to give it a little bit of glow and shine. And voila, done. 
and that is it today isn't that amazing but so that's what you can do with bronzers and because our bronzers are so sheer and so easy to use and work with um they go on so so light using the proper brush is key i definitely recommend your blush bronzer brush i mean the fluffier your brush the lighter the application is going to be right the denser your brush the heavier it's going to go on so that's why i chose to use the denser end of my blush bronzer brush for my um uh, Bella application like where I would normally contour but when I'm doing my tan lines all over my face I just simply use my fluffy end of my brush for a lighter application and for those areas that I always have that I need a little additional coverage I just went in with June and just spot treated those few little areas and voila I'm good to go so um yeah just another way of approaching things i hope you guys enjoyed that if anybody needs a fresh color match for spring and summer i know that the sun is coming out people are exposed to nicer weather and things change up you may need to adjust your um your color match a little bit definitely throw me a picture um, you can send it in messenger you don't need to necessarily fill out another um, color match form just reach out to me and let me know and i'd be happy to take a look and um, give you some guidance as to where to go um, with some fresh colors for spring and summer okay guys have a great day i'll chat with you guys soon and ciao for now